only weeks after normalcy returned to various parts of Baringo County following the ongoing security operation, renewed attacks by armed bandits in Mukutani have forced residents to flee their homes to seek asylum in safer areas. The second batch of locals fled the area following Tuesday's attack, which left 11 people dead and three people among them, two children, nursing serious wounds. One of the victims, six-year-old Senteo Kateya, who has since been transferred to Nairobi, received a visit by Labor Cabinet Secretary Phyllis Kandie. Um, so tuna tuna tutazidi kumwangalia huyo mtoto tutakuja kumwangalia uh, na kama vile nime uh, nimeambiwa ni mtoto sasa hana wazazi tension remains high in neighboring mosuro and kiserian villages with residents fearing retaliatory attacks hatuna kulima hatuna kuvuka mali hatuna kukaa na watoto yako salama ni pucho kila wakati usiku mchana Hiyo ndiyo mbaya. Sai tunaama sai pande ya kuteremka huko pande ya Jamus huko pande naitwa Yelume. Kama tunapata mali pa kukaa sawa. Ni watoto wangu wote tatu umeenda. On Thursday evening, security officers engaged armed bandits for over one hour before they were repulsed. Three lorries were used to ferry residents under tight security to Eldume Primary School as authorities moved in to pacify the affected areas. We have a lot of work in the hospital, we have a center, we have a school, and we want to go to the school, and we want to go to the school, and we want to go to the school. Now we have tension, we have to go to the school, we have to go to the school, we have to go to the school, na kukijaribu kuangalia ilikuwa ni njia kama tungekuwa na hii security sahi yenye imetusindikisha labda tunge vita hapa nyinyi wenyewe mejionea kwa barabara tumepigwa risasi na tunasema hali sio hali kwa sababu hata hii belt ya Kiserian bado kuna tension baada ya mzuro hapa kuna tension na tunasema security wa serikali walete security au kubip security hapa saidi saidi hayo tunataka KPR kwa wingi Baringo leaders now calling on the government to recruit additional national police reservists and send them to vulnerable areas.